this one for a pre-poo and I'm going to be using this one for my styling product and I'll be using Aussie Moist for my leave -in. I got it all in and I'm gonna let it sit in for about maybe five or ten minutes while I fold some laundry and I'll be back I'll be in the shower um, gonna rinse this out and then um, I'll probably lightly shampoo it because I just wore it straight and um, so my curls can fully come back and then I'm gonna put in the Aussie Moist leave-in and then um, I'll be applying this conditioner yeah be applying this conditioner as my styler on top of that and then I'll show you guys how I define my curls okay I'll be back all right guys I'm back from out the shower um, I have this on my head to keep the water from like running while I'm trying to put my clothes on and so I just unwrap that and then I have my hair is just in a ponytail And I have, um, this is water and icy moist mixed together just to keep my hair wet while I'm styling it. And this is the conditioner that I'm going to use. The OGX Quenching Plus Coconut Curls Conditioner. I've used this before. And then I have a huge clip and a comb. So I'm just going to spray it just to get it back wet how I like it. I like to style my hair soaking wet. And a lot of people always ask me, is um, this my curl pattern without product in it? And the answer is yes. I don't have a texturizer or heat damage or anything. My hair is just like this. Um, it froze out and shrinks up when it dries, especially like the more days I go. But when my hair is wet, it's very straight. Sometimes I like it and sometimes I don't. But I love my shrinkage when it starts to dry. So I like the fact that my hair can do like all these different things which is the reason why people like having natural hair so I'm using about this much and this can be done several different ways sometimes I'll just put the product all throughout my hair like this and then I'll just comb it all down and define it in one swoop and then sometimes when I want more definition I'll part it and then go level by level or layer by layer but I do make sure that I get this conditioner off throughout my hair and I haven't worn my hair curly in a minute because I had it straight for my birthday which is on August 28th so I'm kind of glad to be back to the curls and I like my part to be kind of far over to the side and I just kind of swoop this side behind my ear this is my thin shorter side it's not that much shorter but it's actually just thinner and I like to part my hair just a little bit in the top right here so let's clip that out of the way and just work on this back piece I won't be adding any more product just because I felt like I added all I need but uh, this right here is my nappy patch this little piece right here up in the top it always goes weird but believe it or not it's actually my favorite patch because it gets kinky and I like it mm, that's what she said so I'm just going to part off a section here in the back take another clip tangle and 
then when I define my curls, I just kind of take my fingers and I just put right like that and I squeeze my fingers together. And that's how I get curl definition to get them to clump together. But normally I do this in like one swoop just with my hair all down. I don't normally go in these little pieces like this just because my hair is straight and I feel like I can just get it all in one swoop. But I'm just going through these motions just so you guys can see how I get the definition. So your curls should clump like that. Now if you do have a dryer or a nappy patch as I like to call it um, in your hair, when you get to that part, just add more conditioner and water to it and take smaller pieces if you need to. Normally I would comb all my hair first uh, down and define it, but I'm kind of being lazy. So when I'm going through at the ends is where I feel the most resistance or like the tangles. Um, so you just do it till your hair feels smooth. See it's like clumped. It's like two big clumps and I leave it like that. Like you don't want to touch your hair until it gets totally dry so that you won't have frizz. And um, I have that bad. I like to touch my hair a lot. You have to work pretty fast so that your hair don't start to dry on you. If it starts to dry, then it gets kind of sticky because you have to keep wetting it and all that. So I like that's why I like to do this process in one swoop, just at one time. And it really normally takes me like five minutes. So since my hair is growing and I'm letting it grow, I, I started doing deep conditioners twice a week, mainly um, repair reparative conditioners, is that even a word, reparative, um, anti-breakage protein, and then I'll add some moisture just to um, extend the life of my hair on the ends so that my hair can actually grow past that weird length. So this is actually how long my hair is now, which my hair has never been this long in my life ever. I always cut it when it gets about here to a bob. So that's a link check for you guys. It's armpit length. My armpit is right there. So it's armpit length. Which I'm very excited about. Because I'm actually accomplishing things that, you know, people say, when I turn 40, I'm going to cut all my hair off. And, you know, they never cut their hair like super short. But I cut my hair off all the time. My hair is always short. I think it's short more than it is long so I was that person that said when I turned 40 I wanted to let my hair grow longer than it ever had before longer that longer than I wanted it to grow longer than I've ever let it before and so that was my when I turned 40 thing I started letting my hair grow it's been growing from like a super t short hairstyle and I'll post pictures Um, for about two and a half or three years I've been letting it grow so it got from me being super bald to this in about two and a half or three years but when I trim my ends I like to cut a lot of hair probably more than I need to or should but that's just because I know I'm growing it out and I just am trying to really be slick and just have a little bit of short hair a little bit more short hair as much as I can as long as I can but because I'm letting it grow I don't cut too much so if I ever want short hair I'll just have to go back to weave or quick weaves or something like that so you can see how it's starting to look the definition is there and I just get it all the way down to the scalp straight and smooth so now we're going to do this side and see, that's not really taking that long. It's only really taking a long time because I'm talking to y'all and telling y'all what I'm doing. But I would have been done and out the door by now. Like, I'm going to put it right here. The tangle 
this and I'm not adding any more product just because I put all that I need I don't want it to be sticky but these can using rinse out conditioners as leave-ins and styling products give your hair a really nice hold and I'll post pictures at the end of the day when it's dry and then tomorrow what it looks like it gets really full and fluffy with shrinkage and I absolutely love it when it starts getting big a lot of people start panicking and they don't know what to do with their hair when it starts to swell like the next day but that's when I love it I don't really care for it when it's fresh and straight and flat like this but a lot of people are like it's so pretty I'm like well it is thank you but I like it when it's like swollen the next day and like super big and I'm not sure style it back because when it comes to the front I don't like it in my face and it breaks my forehead out um, and I don't really use oils in my hair when I wear wash and goes maybe if I'm putting it in a puff or at night time when it's dry before I put my bonnet on I might take my little bottle and put some oils down in my scalp and rub them around but I don't like to put oils in my hair when it's wet I don't know why I feel like it makes my hair look stringy so this is the last little piece and you can see my part is way over there on the side and I have a little part at the top up here and I like to put that there because um, like the third or fourth day sometimes the second day I like to put scarves or headbands on and I like to have my hair separated right there because it's, it gets so big and I don't like to pull my hair apart when it's in that fro because then it makes it crazy but since I've been doing deep conditioners twice a week what I'll do today is Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. On Saturday or Sunday, I'll put more conditioner in at night and sleep in it again. And then I'll get up the next day and do this process again. So I do this whole process twice a week. And I did it the last time my hair was long, which some people be like, oh my God, that's a lot. It's not a lot to me, but I want my hair to turn out a certain way. And I know I'm trying to let it grow. So it's just things that I trying to do with my hair that I know I have to put in a little bit of work that's why I tell people when you go natural natural hair is a lot of work people think that you go natural and you don't do anything to your hair that's a lot you can't do that you have to have a skill set and you got to know how to do something to your hair so that is my wash and go and this is what it looks like I just like to slap that piece behind my ear and once I get my hair to this point, I don't touch it too much because it starts to um, set and then it gets really weird like when you touch it a lot. So this is what it looks like. So I'll come back with pictures and let you see how it looks. I could have.